Hello, this is Henry from gifttoolscard.co.uk. Um, it's the 18th of June today, and we are here in the Wiltshire Gallery. You can see that uh, fabulous uh, image there of, of the cathedral. But we're going to learn a lot more this morning by speaking to Mick Martin, the owner here, who's hopefully going to give us an idea as uh, the sheer, sheer variety of uh, work you've got in here. Hi, Henry, and welcome to the Wiltshire Gallery. Just to say a small word about the history of the Wiltshire Gallery, it was founded over 30 years ago and it's been in present ownership for just over 12 and a half years. It used to be down the road by the United Reformed Church and we moved up to these palatial premises at number 55 Fisherton Street, as you didn't mention the address, <laughs> about four years ago. Sure. Our activities fall into three main categories. Firstly, the sale of prints and cards. And in this respect, we concentrate on Salisbury and the surrounding areas. And I'd like to show you a couple of uh, examples. We have a large range of prints framed at just £32 of various scenes from Salisbury done by mostly by local artists, including Bill Toop and uh, Terry Fremantle. Those are uh, very popular and, as I say, we sell them framed at a special price. Our best-selling print, however, is the print of the two that you were concentrating on at the beginning which are two specially commissioned prints in a different format by Terry Fremantle, one of the cathedral, as you can see, and the other of Stonehenge. These are signed, limited edition, numbered prints, and they sell at just £79 each framed. OK, great. Good news. So there we go, Stonehenge and the cathedral. Stonehenge and the cathedral. And something different on this side? Something different on this side. On this side we have uh, originals. This is the second aspect of our work, is the sale of originals. Again, a lot of them are of local scenes, but not exclusively. There's a wider range of uh, scenes depicted in the originals. And they include, again, a lot of local artists, most notably those uh, in the middle there, which are by Salisbury's best-known living artist, Bill Toop, who I think everybody in Salisbury knows, although he recently left Salisbury and moved to Dorset. But he's still okay. best-known. Sure, artist. so Bill Toop, I'm just going to get that there. That's originals. Certainly a name yeah, to place in Salisbury, you can get them, I believe. Okay, okay, fantastic. So, uh, so local scenes, other scenes along along there, some seascapes and and so forth. So yes, the originals are obviously much more varied, um, and it depends on the art system. <coughs> but there are a lot of local scenes, and as as you say, seascapes, harbourscapes over there, and various others just... down there, which you can't point out at the same time. <laughs> so there we go, some some seascapes and. Uh, I guess a, a plethora of other cards and, and, and so forth on, on the stand right here, I'll just point that out, there we go. Definitely a plethora, yeah, lots of them <laughs> as well. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, moving on to the framing, I guess. Yeah, the framing is the third aspect of our activities and the one that brings us in the greatest revenue. And we have a wide range of mouldings, as you can see, if you pan round to choose from. We have staff with uh, considerable knowledge and experience who will help you choose if you don't know exactly what you want. And offer we also we offer free quotations for jobs, and we tell you exactly what it's going to cost before we start the work. The most important thing, however, with framing here is we don't send it away to Edinburgh or Aberdeen or Basingstoke. Or <laughs> All the framing is done on the premises in the workshop upstairs. Right, excellent. So that's uh, that's done by yourself, is it, Mick? It's done by myself. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So if anything goes wrong, which it never does, of course, you know who to blame. <laughs> Right, excellent. Well, uh, at that point, shall we wander upstairs and see what we can find? Well, normally we don't let people upstairs, but as it's you, we'll make a special exception. Excellent, I'll look forward to that. Here we go.